Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Andre SOG Ward, the undefeated two division world champion, a Hall of Fame in this fight game, and most definitely one of the greatest to ever do it. Then we have King Canelo Alvarez, the four division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight champ. Canelo is arguably the greatest Mexican fighter of all time and most definitely one of the greatest to ever lace up a pair of gloves. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Canelo want to get back at Andre Ward for saying that he don't fight fighters in their prime. And as y'all can see, at, look at Canelo hit list. Y'all can see he fought plenty of fighters in their prime. Laura, Cotto, Golovkin, Jakin, Plant, Charlos, my gear that's coming up. Um, um, got Billy Joe Saunders. Then you don't have, um, we don't have Floyd on this thing, right? Even though he lost to Floyd. Then... You don't have Austin Trout on that thing. He went out there and beat Austin Trout. So it's fighters out there. James Kirkland, who is a hell of a puncher. Like, come on, bro. Canelo Alvarez went out there and defeated top fighters in their prime. Has one of the, arguably the best resume in boxing right now today. But, you know, people want to pick and choose when it comes to Canelo Alvarez because jealousy is a hell of a drug and jealousy gets you nowhere. You understand? It gets you nowhere, bro. You know what I mean? It's like a disease, bro. It's spread from one person to the next, from one person to the next. Why well, when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, everybody got to hate on this king, bro? Because that's what's going down. And you know Money B gonna keep it trio. If y'all sit up here and try to discredit Canelo Alvarez's resume, then we can go down the line and discredit a lot of people's resumes if that's what y'all want to do. You know what I mean? I go down everybody's resume and debunk they shit and show you. Including yours, Andre Ward. Including yours, Andre Ward. You understand? You had the Super Six tournament, bro. You had Mikael Kessler. You had Carl Frotch. Alan Green. Right? Um, Arthur Abraham. And we can look at their age when you fought them. Right? We can look at where they at in, in, in their boxing careers when you fought them. And then we can go back and look at the fighters that Canelo Alvarez fought and, and see where they was at and see if the fighters you fought was so much older or so much younger than the fighters that Canelo Alvarez fought. So let's not play them games, bro. Let's not play them games. You feel me? The situation with us going on now is Canelo surpassed you, man. Canelo surpassed you, man. And I think you don't like it. And you my guy, man. One of the greatest to ever do it. I fuck with you. You one of my favorite fighters. I'm going to order your book, homie. But I got to call it a spade to spade. You know what I mean? I got to call it a spade to spade. You got to get Canelo Alvarez is just doing his credit, bro. Canelo been holding down the fight game. It ain't about, oh, get your money. As if Canelo just going out there, he's only fighting for money, bro. Canelo went fighting for legacy as well. Canelo went to the super middleweight division, bro. From 154, 154 pounds all the way up to motherfucking light heavyweight. You understand? And then even though you want to try to discredit Sergey Kovalev, when Canelo fought him, he was still a champion. He was still a champion. So what? You're going to say, oh, you know, Kovalev wasn't the same. He wasn't a crusher anymore. Well, shit, he just knocked out Anthony Yard, motherfucking ass. He was still knocking people out. Shit. Canelo went to 175 and knocked it, uh, and Yeah, knocked his ass out. Let me take that back. Cleaned him. Cleaned him. You did? You stopped him with a body shot. He knocked his ass out, cleaned his ass on the ropes from a man coming from 154 pounds, bro. And you started at 168. All you had to do was go a one-way class. So let's not try to discredit Canelo win over Sergey Kovalev. Okay, you beat him when he was the crusher, right? You beat him. A lot of people thought you lost the first fight. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people thought you lost the first fight. Just like a lot of people try to hit on Canelo with the Golovkin fight. But you try to say, oh, HBO, they had to force him to fight Golovkin. It don't matter what they had to do. They didn't have to force nothing. He was going through a situation with Golden Boy. That's why he didn't fight Golovkin because Oscar tried to be slick. Do your homework, bro. You feel me? Oscar De La Hoya tried to sign Canelo up for some shit that he didn't even know about. So if I was Canelo, I wouldn't do it neither. You're not going to pressure me or force me to do something that I don't even know about. But yeah, boy, you beat Sergey Kovalev, Canelo beat Triple G. Triple G and Sergey Kovalev used to spoil each other. 
So you be the monster in Kovalev, Canelo be the monster in Triple G, bro. The same Triple G that they wanted to go up to fight you, but he wouldn't fight you. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, come on now. Money B does this shit. The same Triple G that they wanted to go up to 168 to fight you, but he didn't want to fight you. Canelo rocked his ass. Yeah, Canelo the one that took him out. Canelo beat him three times. You did? Three times. But not only that, Canelo still went up and beat the other killer and, and, and Sergey Kovalev. Knocked him out. Like I said, you can try to discredit that Kovalev win all you want to. Can't take that away from him, bro. He went up He went up and became a four-division world champion off Kovalev, bro. Can't take that away from him. Because, like I said, if that's the case, we can go look at a lot of fighters going up to face somebody that wasn't the, the, the exact same person that they was. But they still was a good fucking version of themselves. And they was a world champion, bro. They was a world champion. You know what I mean? So let's cut the crap, bro. Let's cut the crap. Canelo Alvarez is great for the sport. Canelo Alvarez, first battle Hall of Famer. Canelo Alvarez has been fighting top-notch competition for a while now. Holding it down for a while now. Like I said, he just don't get his just on his credit because a lot of people just hate on him, bro. A lot of people hate on him. Because they want Canelo to move the way they want him to move. And Canelo move how he want to move. Canelo controlled his own destiny. He took his, his career in his own hands. Took a chance on himself when he got away from Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy. You understand what I'm saying? Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. You feel me? We know you didn't really get that buzz war to the end of your career, bro. From when you fought Kovalev, let's be exact. The Kovalev fight is what made you the number one power for power fight in the world because people weren't even trying to give you that, bro. People weren't even trying to give you that. And then when you did become unified, you didn't go try to be undisputed and face um, um, the, 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 the Haitian boy over in Canada. You know what I'm saying? Adonis Stevenson. Everybody wanted you to face Adonis Stevenson when you took them belts for Sergey Kovalev, but you never did. You never did. You feel me? Then you was rumors to go up to, to, to the heavyweight division to try to fight Anthony Joshua, right? We know that didn't come to fruition. You know what I'm saying? So let's just be real, fam. Let's just be real. At the end of the day, a lot of people hate on Canelo because Canelo making so much money in the game. Canelo is the face of boxing. And a lot of people feel like they, that they can beat Canelo or that they was better than Canelo Alvarez. And, you know, they just can't stand to see that man shining the way he's shining, bro. They just can't stand to see him shining the way he's shining. The way his fan base ride for him. The love that he get. You know what I'm saying? We got to stop the crap, bro. If, if people saying they for, for the sport of boxing and these fighters saying, oh, you know, we want to sanction it. We want a, a, a sanction out here to help the fighters out more. But when the fighter out here getting his money, right? When a fight out here getting his money, ain't letting the promoter fuck him over, then y'all still want to shit on the fighter. Y'all still want to shit, because on one hand, y'all say, oh, yeah, the promoters are getting paid. They don't really give a fuck about the fighters. But when the fighters go out there and now do the promoters and, and become their own promoter and move how they want to move and make their bridgey, then they get the hating on the fucking fighter. Oh, he ain't really fighting nobody. Oh, he's ducking and dodging this person. He's ducking and dodging that person. Stop it, bro. Stop it. I'm going to tell y'all this, and I'm going to tell y'all this, and, and I want y'all to listen to me well, bro. Canelo Alvarez ain't never ducked nobody in his life. Never. Ever. This is a business. It's chess, not checkers. Make your next move your best move. No fighter is afraid of another fighter. You did? But at the same time, when you earn the right to move how you move, you earn that right. And don't get mad because I want to use my A-side the way I use my A-side. Y'all didn't question the ones that came before me. Don't question me. I repeat, y'all didn't question the one that came before me, so don't question me. And I'm talking about the ones that, that, that had that superstardom behind them. That had that it factor. The Floyds, the Oscar, the Tysons, the, the Ray Leonard's, the Ray Robinson's, those caliber of fighters. You did. Canelo Alvarez is great for the sport. Canelo Alvarez has been facing the best of the best. Canelo Alvarez has been holding this sport down, carrying it on his back for a while now. Give him his motherfucking just do and quit hating on him. Period. Straight like that, and I'm on to the next.